many times the potential distribution that we uh, come across in microscopic uh, or in quantum system is symmetric symmetric means uh, the potential like something like this kind of potential say the potential can be of say this kind I, i'll give you an example i'm just giving you the example of a symmetric potential say i have say a parabolic potential like this this is symmetric here vx versus x vx is defined as say half kx square so symmetric means v at minus x is same as v at x right so this is symmetric potential this is symmetric potential potential is symmetric right or the potential can be say oh, i can have this kind of potentials i'll use red pen over here say or say black over here so this kind of potential you can have this kind of say finite potential well this is a finite potential well something like this this is finite potential well right this is x equal to a and this is x equal to minus a so this is also finite potential well this is also symmetric potential this is also a symmetric potential now <coughs> if the if the potential is symmetric then i'll divide it into two cases one if the allowed value of energy which you get if energy spectrum is non degenerate if energy spectrum is non degenerate then eigen state eigen state of particle subjected to such potential such means symmetric potential symmetric potential have definite parity definite parity means the parity of wave function describing the eigen state of the particle will have either even parity or odd parity they are even or odd the parity will be either even or odd the wave function is said to be having even parity if psi of minus x is psi x and so this is even parity this is called the wave function having even parity and if psi of minus x is minus of psi x this is called odd parity odd parity right so either psi x will be having even parity or psi x will be having odd parity if the wave if the uh, potential well is symmetric right then the wave function will have definite parity right i can prove this also see according to schrodinger wave equation minus h square by 2m and <coughs> del square psi x plus vx psi equals to e psi x if i replace x with minus x then this is going to be minus x v minus x this is psi x psi minus x equal to e psi minus x or i can write this as minus h square by 2m del square psi minus x v minus x is vx only so this is psi minus x equal to psi minus x so you find here that psi x is the eigen vector and psi minus x is also the eigen vector for the same eigen value e energy corresponding to energy e you see from here the psi x is the eigen vector 
and psi minus 6 is also the eigenvector. But since this energy eigen the energy level E is non-degenerate, it means your psi minus x must be equal to either psi x or it must be equal to some constant. It can be minus also. It must be equal to some constant into psi x. Means these two are not two different solutions. They must be same solution. So if psi x is the solution of this equation, then some constant into psi x will also be the solution of this equation. So it means if psi minus x is also the solution, it must be some constant multiplied by psi x. Right? If I change here, x to minus x from here if i replace x with minus x then i'll have psi x c psi minus x and from psi minus x i can write c psi x that is c square psi x it means psi x is c square psi x it means c square must be one or c can be plus minus one all right c can be plus minus 1. It means your psi minus x can be either psi x or psi minus x can be either minus of psi x. So in this case, this is even parity and in this case it is odd parity. Right? So if the uh, eigen, uh, if the um, energy level is de non-degenerate and the potential distribution is symmetric, then the wave function will be having either even parity or it will be having odd parity. Get your point? Now, in this case, if the energy spectrum is degenerate, if energy spectrum is degenerate, then corresponding to the same energy level, I can have two eigenvectors, two different eigenvectors. See, psi x and twice of psi x are not two different eigenvectors. If psi x is eigenvector, some constant into eigenvector is not a different eigenvector. It is same eigenstate is basically. Means psi x and some constant into psi x does not represent two different eigenstates. They represent the same eigenstate. But here, see, if e is the, eigenvector, uh, e is the energy eigenvalue and corresponding to if energy eigenvalue e is degenerate, then I can always have more than one wave function more than one eigenvector, E can correspond to more than one eigenvector or you can say more than one eigenstate can correspond to same energy eigenvalue E. So in that case, psi minus x can be another solution, means psi minus x may not be the constant times psi x. So in that case, psi minus x is going to be another independent eigenvector, psi minus x can be another independent eigenvector but here also i can always choose if psi minus is the other another eigenvector psi x is another independent eigenvector if psi x and psi minus x are two independent eigenvector they i can always choose a eigenvector see if psi x and psi minus x are two independent eigenvector then their linear combination will also be an eigenvector so i can always choose psi 1x where psi 1x can be written as psi psi x plus psi minus x and I can choose another wave function which is sum of psi x and psi minus x. So this will be your even parity psi minus x will be even parity and with the eigenvector corresponding to E and psi 2x will be having odd parity but will will also be it will also be the eigenvector corresponding to same e so in that case in case of even case of degenerate states uh, i can't say that every eigenvector will have definite parity but i can always construct an eigenvector which is having even parity or odd parity so here i can construct in in case of non degenerate states i can safely say that every eigenvector has got definite parity. Here in case of degenerate state, I can't guarantee that every eigenstate is having definite parity. But I can always have eigenstates which will have which will have even parity or odd parity will have definite parity. Okay, so this is very important. This will make use of it.